The next story in Homegrown is one that's very close to home for me. Kitty's on the way to Airfield Estate, a garden that we've both worked in. For our next story, we're heading to Dundrum, South Dublin, to visit Airfield Estate, Dublin's only working urban farm and gardens. It was once the home of the prominent Overend family who lived here from 1894. But the real story on the estate is the progress of the gardens over the last 100 years. And I want to find out more about this. The history of Airfield stretches back to the early 1800s, but the story of the gardens here begins with the Overend family, a lady called Lily Butler and her two daughters, Leticia and Naomi. Lily, being a country girl, she was one of the butlers from Carlow. They moved here for the summer and Lily loved it. It took her five years to persuade Trevor to move out here. And that's when they extended to the fine farmhouse that we have now. And Airfield continues to be a working farm. So who was the driving force behind the farm? Well, the three overend ladies were very involved in both the farm and the gardens, very hands-on. They were very hard-working people. And it was Lily who instilled a huge altruistic streak in the two girls. All the stuff that they're well known for, the fundraising, donating, volunteering. But their big love was Dundrum, the village of Dundrum and the people of Dundrum. And what legacy have they left here at Airfield? In 1974, they left the House in Trust. They asked for it to be for education and recreation. Education is one of the biggest departments we have here. The story of the gardens at Airfield did not end with the Overend sisters. In fact, that was only the beginning. In 2011, the gardens were redesigned. And then when they opened to the public in 2014, it was the job of the two new head gardeners to continue to develop these gardens. One of those new head gardeners was me, and the other is Colm, my co-presenter. Colm, what stamp do you think you've brought to the gardens here at Airfield Estate? Our aim is every season to have something new and interesting going on. So you can see the hedges here are all kind of waved in these uh, up and down shapes and that actually mirrors the pergola that we're standing under you know um, and then the spirals of the ewes they were all previously just column shapes and we clip them into that kind of spiral to have a bit of fun and just bring a bit of looseness to the garden. In the whole scheme of things what legacy would you like to leave behind here Colin? I, I think personally for me there's um, one thing that's really important that's it that a garden should never be static, that it should always constantly change. So the day that I feel I'm not changing here anymore will be the day I'll need to leave and hand it over to someone else who will bring on a new energy and new change to the garden, because that's what makes gardens most interesting. When I first joined Airfield in 2013, it was very important that we connected the ornamental garden and the food garden. So when we were setting up the initial three-acre food garden, a big part of what we wanted to do was keep them both very recreational and educational for everyone that came to visit. I wanted to create a real farm-to-fork experience and I was proud to be involved and to leave a little bit of my own stamp on the food garden here in Airfield. This is Martina who works here in the gardens and helps deliver Airfield's purpose of encouraging the 180,000 visitors to the estate to get to know your food. And there's now a new programme, the Get to Know Your Food programme. Uh, well, education is a massive part of Airfield and the Overends sisters did leave the estate for education and recreation. So we're keeping that legacy alive and having the gardens here gives the perfect opportunity to educate the people passing through in relation to growing your own food, eating locally, uh, even tying into food waste and all of the other different elements that surround uh, food production. This story of the Airfield Garden started well over 100 years ago with Lily Butler and her daughters but it's a story that continues to this day. It's an ever-evolving garden, and one that will continue well into the future, thanks to the passionate and talented team here on the estate. <laughs>